Dude, Mortis is so cool. Like, honestly, he is very unique in his, like, way of killing opponents and stuff like that. Yeah. And he's good looking. Yeah. But what do you like about Mortis? I think my favorite part about Mortis is his shovel. <laughs> that was Wait, the okay. most staged lead-in ever. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't think I don't think these guys on the channel here have seen my build of Mortis's shovel since it's a new Wait, channel. They have it? No. So oh. let's go ahead. We're gonna show it to them. Oh heck but yeah, let's do that. Be sure and stay till the very end. You'll watch a special surprise with Logan, right. dude. No. Remember the end of that video? No, <laughs> it's I don't, so I don't cool. want to see that. Watch to the end. You're gonna see something you've never. Okay, I gotta win. You're gonna see something you've never seen before. Okay, let's rock this thing. Enjoy the video. And thanks for joining me for this build of Mortis's shovel. Throughout the video, we're gonna be showing you all kinds of things that Mortis's shovel can do. It is amazing. You are not gonna want to miss any of this. Let's get to it. Okay, so this should be a quick build. All you need for Mortis's shovel are two things. Number one, a long slender pole, just like this one. And number two, one of these Frankenstein pieces of wood with all these clamps on it. If you don't have all the clamps, a nice square block of wood should do just fine. Okay, so number one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of wood that is nice and square and absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna cut out the shovel portion. I made this on the computer. <coughs> it's so pretty. Now all I gotta do is take this contraption here, trace it out, and that should cut right through the wood in the exact shape that I need it to. Here's the hoping. Dude, ever since I got this shovel, I cannot believe the amount of things that it can do. Like, open a can. <laughs> that worked perfectly. Okay, awesome. Now what are we gonna do with the green beans? So I kind of feel like I cheated you guys a little bit. There's one more piece of the puzzle that I forgot to mention. First of all, we have all this drawn on. I'm gonna grind these so they're nice and sharp, and it's gonna look real nice. But, I forgot there's one more piece that I didn't tell you about. This piece. It's a little bit bigger round than the long stick thing that I told you about in the beginning. Yep. We're just gonna chop this off right here. And now we have this little piece here, which is gonna look awesome. Let me show you where that goes. That's gonna go right here. Check this out. Obviously, we'll make it look a little bit nicer before we put it on, but that's it on that. So I gotta be honest, that grinding was a little bit more than I thought it was gonna be. Um, we do have the rough shape of it all put together, which is awesome because I think I should be able to clean this up really nicely. All I gotta do is, oh, I missed a spot. Biggest problem obviously with these two tips, they are absolutely insane. They were a mother to sand and grind. You'll see, but I'm gonna smooth this thing out really nicely and then I'm gonna put some putty on it and then keep sanding it, make it real smooth, ready for paint. It can turn on my fireplace. Ah, no, you're supposed to push the button 
right when I go like this, so it looks like the shovel's turning on the fireplace. Okay, so, all right. It can even turn on my fireplace. Uh, no. Okay, so right, right when I point the shovel at the fireplace, you push the button. That way it Wait. looks, yeah, that way it looks like we're actually lighting the fireplace with the shovel. That makes sense. It's an illusion. I'll Photoshop it all. It'll look perfect. perfect. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. My fireplace. You're delayed right when I point it at the thing on my fireplace. Gosh, do I need to get one of the kids to do it? I can even turn on my fireplace. How cool. I don't know if you guys can tell, but day one of this build absolutely whooped my butt. I never thought I would have to grind that much. Like, it was a lot just getting the grind marks on these little two cutouts here, which was absolutely insane. And then just even grinding this little thing for that little part was insane. So now, moving on to the handle. Obviously. This should be a lot simpler. So what I've done for the handle is I've printed off a piece of paper here off my computer and basically I'll just put the stick right there and then cut these little pieces right here to make this little circle. It should go pretty dang well. Hopefully. Hopefully. Not sure if you saw that but I was having trouble with the uh, round thing this rod turning when I was making the cuts. Check that out. So I put so I put these uh, two uh, boards here that way that it can't turn when I put it through the saw. Very crucial, very important. You can even do the obvious with it. We'll sh shovel s snow, it's a shovel. So, there's that. I really don't want to get it dirty. It's like brand new and I don't want to ruin it. Let's fake it. <laughs> Did it look like I shoveled it? What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Slid off. Tanner, say hi to the camera. Shovel looks awesome. This is how my kids help me. Look, they're all on top of the table. Do you guys really want to see this? So I'm going to clean this up. 
obviously there's goo and stuff all over it, so I'm just gonna take the Dremel and clean this bad boy up. You know what I'm saying? Also, I'm gonna make it look a little more round-ish. Before you guys yell at me for not wearing glasses, even when I wear glasses, I get dust in my eyes. So back off. I'm sorry, that was mean. I'm sorry, I, I take it back. Don't back off. You can lecture me all you want. All the paint is dry, which I'm excited about. This build actually should be one of the easiest builds to put together, I'm hoping. So I painted this shovel part on this stick. I'm gonna take it out. The thing is, with my brand new drill press, the holes and things are so tight that I don't even think I'm gonna use glue when I put the stick in. <laughs> Just kidding, of course I'm gonna use glue. It's right here. <laughs> I just need a opening that's better right now. Okay, so we have three parts that we need to put together. Obviously the shovel part, the little thingy part that goes right here, if you look at that. And then we have the, uh, I know I made a handle somewhere. Oh, it's right here, okay. This is Mortis's handle, looks so sweet. Okay, so that goes in the hole there, that makes sense. It's so simple, it's not even, so I'm just gonna put glue in there, hold on. I think I just may have went overboard with the glue. Look at all that I put in there. That's gonna ooze out. Which isn't great. Oh. Crap, I got glue on the outside. Dang it all the heck. You don't, you don't eat glue, you guys. Focus. <sighs> Might have got bigger since I... Okay, I'm gonna have to make that hole bigger, hold on. Oh, hopefully this will fit right in the hole now. Let's see. Yeah! Maybe a little too loose. That's okay, we can glue that. Dun dun. Oh gosh. Oh, that's tight. You guys, it's finished. Are you guys ready to see this thing? Oh my heck. <laughs> I even figured out how to get it to control my lights. Check this out. Mortis's shovel, turn on the lights. Was that cool or what? Hey, thanks for stopping by for this sweet build of Mortis's shovel. It turned out absolutely awesome. Uh, be sure and subscribe, hit that notification bell for more sweet builds, just like this one. I think it's turned out, it's just so sweet. I love this thing, holy cow. This is Whoa, awesome. Oh, Dad! Yeah. That is so cool! Oh, thanks, dude. I know, it turned out so good. I know, but, but isn't there supposed to be like a bat lantern at the end of it? Oh, oh. Shit.